there. And yes, it looks like Hattie is slowly coming out of hibernation. And to be fair, it doesn't really feel like it's been that long, which is nice. We're in what now? Uh, 1st of Feb. And not only that, as from today, I am off off of work all month. I've got an entire month off work, which is beautiful. I don't usually take, well, barely any time off from work at all, but my sister's taking over the business now. And she says, uh, yeah, you really should take all your annual leave. Uh, and she says, well, February's going to be a bit quiet, so have enough. I'm like, all right, <laughs> yeah, I'll have that. No problem. So I'm just uh, well starting things off by obviously taking Hetty out. Took some wonderful pictures at the station last night. I've been asked to uh, take pictures of all the crew individually. So I invited a friend of mine down who's a model. To take some practice shots and it came out incredibly well. I've not shown them to anyone yet. I likely won't uh, unveil any of the photos I take until well, un until they're all done and they go on this big electronic board for everyone to see. It it's really for like, when the visitors turn up, it's nice for them to have something to see, see uh, who, who uh, all the crew are, and see some clips of what the boats can do and all this kind of stuff. So I've got to, I've got to film all this over the next few, few weeks and months. Yeah, it's sort of pretty cool when it's when it's all finished, but yeah, for now I'm just gonna enjoy these roads. These uh, shitty mud up roads. I'm not gonna go too far today, it's a bit a bit on the breezy side, a bit cold, but I just wanted to get her out to be honest. She needs to get out.
Got some pictures printed off. See how they look in print. And they look pretty damn good. They'll go for a little bit. To, uh, go for a mooch to uh, Apple Door. <clears throat> and see how cold it is after that. Couldn't not take Hetty out today, it's just far too nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful day. I just had a little wander around the old bridge over there. So we've got new bridge over there in the distance, which you might just be able to see. And then old bridge here. I'm looking forward to taking uh, Ivy down here, a little uh, little dinghy boat. Because I'm uh, yeah, just building up my confidence on it at the moment. I've not used him a great deal. I'm really looking forward to taking him under the arches. Just getting an idea of what's beneath there at the moment at low tide. Might even be a good productive spot for fishing. I know people do fish around here. I think I think around here mostly for flatties. I don't know. Uh, probably the odd bass or two. That's like a nice quiet spot to enjoy a summer's evening. Just floating about on your boat in the estuary. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll probably add this to the last video I did on Hetty, so this will be the second ride of the year. There's a bit of a chill in the air, but it's a leather jacket it seems to be taking, taking the brunt of that, so it doesn't feel cold at all, and there's no wind which is even better, so nice. No, it's, it's a wonderful time to be out. There's a Triumph rocket. Whew. I have been looking at the rockets, because uh, they are beasts of things. Absolute beasts, but I don't seem to have that same roar that Hetty has. Hasn't quite got the same grunt and that's what's stopping me from getting one. I'll never be able to use all that sort of power anyway, not on the roads I go down. Not even close. So now Hetty is most ideal. I've had her for nearly a year now, I think it's been about 10 months. I don't know where that's gone, it's just flown by. I've only done, I don't, I, and I've done quite a few videos with her, but I think I've only covered about 2,000 miles on it. End of the day though, it's quality, not quantity. I'll have to go to some, to some more pubs as well. I enjoy that, going to oh yeah, finding some pubs and then having a, what was it, like a pineapple and a lemonade and a bag of crisps or something, it was just ideal. I couldn't believe there were some days where it was too hot to be on a bike, you know, because you, you couldn't get fast enough to cool down and all you were doing was blowing yourself into the warm air. <coughs> and not only that, you got the heat from the exhaust blowing past your knees as well. It was it was bordering on excruciating. It was really hot. On the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I have missed this. So, uh, I've, I've said this in the other video as well, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long since I've been out on it, you know? I think it was October. So it's about four months, but, you know, I still get to see her every day, which is nice, you know, she sits hibernating in the garage, but, yeah, it just didn't feel like I was waiting that long to ride her again. But anyway, the wait is over now. Back on it. Does sound good. I've had her on, I've probably said a bit of a, I've had her on a trickle charge, so she's always ready to go. 
you do have to look after lithium batteries you, know, you don't want them to get too low otherwise it it's too difficult to get them below that minimum amount of charge and then after that the batteries are as good as dead which is what Claude has found out on his monkey recently you can sometimes rescue lithium batteries but it is a bit difficult if you haven't got the charge to start off with to try and resuscitate it you may as well just get another battery or find a friend that's got a charger desire to go fast it's just the pull and the grunt that it gives off it's very addictive yeah you don't want to be taking this over 70 miles an hour it's just too uncomfortable and it's trying to blow you off there's no fairing at all as you can see it's completely naked in today <coughs> all of it I should have brought my camera does it <laughs> what are clothes about Is it 20 to 2? Mm. <laughs> Might have buggered off home by now. Yeah, it's gone. Let's uh, don't reach down the back road. I've been down there for a while. I love all this light and shadows coming off the walls, it's just... Oh. And this time of year, because we're in February, you know, it's all low sun as well. Good amount of lights and colours, it's just really, really special. May as well have a quick glance at Ivy as well while I'm here. Make sure he's alright. Make 
sure it's not full of rainwater or stolen. <laughs> Nah, it looks alright. Oh, a little bit of water gathering up. I think I need to put some more storage boxes under the tarpaulin. This sort of bulks it out a bit. And there's less places for the water to sit and collect, but it didn't make a shit of difference anyway, to be honest. It's only on the tarpaulin, not in the boat itself. <coughs> they put this road. I, can't, I can never remember what it's called. Odin Road, that was it. Odin. Ah, oh, the views. Been doing a lot of photography recently. And strangely, because I use uh, Fujifilm, I have fallen out of love with colour. It would now have to be a very special colour, like for instance, um, you know, sunsets and sunrises, where there really are special colours around. Otherwise, I've, re I've really, really fallen in love with black and white. It's such a powerful thing, especially when photographing people as well. You know, you can see a lot of emotion. And there's, yeah, generally a lot more feeling in black and white. So I'm going to be really bold and not use colour at all this year, except of course if it is a really good oh, sunset or sunrise. In which case, black and white is kind of wasted in that respect, if that's what you're trying to capture. What a day for it. Seagull's looking for lunch. Oh, it's found one. I'll try and zoom in on that later if I can. bumped into one of the one of the swimmers I've been photographing. They're all so lovely and, uh, and accommodating. They're just uh, a nice friendly group of people. Likely, while I'm here, of course, knit down uh, the street. By the station, <clears throat> see if anything's occurring. Probably not while the tide is out. I've been down it for ages.
Gott, ja. Such a pretty street. I haven't noticed those lights up there before. It's glowing away. Maybe you only noticed them in certain lights. Change it. Looks like they're doing tractor training. Let's go see what they're up to. a load of health and safety crap going on. <clears throat> I could go into it, but it's endless. They're, they're trying to save some costs by buying other stuff, which adds more to, oh, he's just, there's no point even going into it, it's just a load of crap. <laughs> so this is why I don't go to the crew meetings and stuff, I'm just not really interested in the politics. You know, if you want to make changes or amendments and do them, you know, I'd just turn up and save lives, that's all I do. Or at least turn up to train and save lives. Not interested in the politics. I was thinking it might be a bit wet today, but it's just really nice.
awesome videos about today. I'm just going to carry on letting this video run to the end, but yeah, that was a lovely sunny day ride. Just needed it after a, a cold, wet, windy winter. I've been looking at some of the videos from the year of the rise and stuff, and I'm very much looking forward to doing those again. It was so much fun. Yeah, cheers for watching. I don't know, I don't know what's going to be on the video next. I am uh, doing the soapbox at the moment, but uh, I don't think people, I don't think people particularly like watching those, so I don't. Uh, I'll not be making videos on it. I'll just do some uh, updates and progress videos on it soon when I've got a bit more done. Uh, but otherwise, I shall see you at the next one, maybe. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you later.